groupings unite and express your thoughts. Opinionated I am. I'm going to stretch myself out for this one. Welcome to another episode of Opinionated I Am. Do you know, a few months back, I started watching a lot of these videos on YouTube where people do pranks and some of them are absolutely hilarious and awesome. But then I started seeing a pattern amongst idiots who do these prank videos and I didn't find it amusing at all. And in fact, it was something that really made me question why why tell them that it's human nature why because they do it that way you're doing your videos for views some of you have carved out a marvelous career out of it and so you need to make it more elaborate but where the fuck do you people get off and especially americans who i'm, I'm going to address you know, where do you get off doing some of the things that you do? Dear white people, knock, knock, knock. It's me, your friendly neighborhood black man. <laughs> Dear white people, this one's for you. <laughs> Why the hell do you deliberately put yourself in danger, provoke a reaction for views? by going into black neighborhoods or targeting black people and specific black people that you know are going to react by saying stupid things that sound like, what's up my nigga? Or do you wanna punch? Or I'm go ham on you. Listen. You may think it's clever, you actually may think it's funny, but when I watch you lot getting punched up, that's hilarious. But at the same time, it's quite serious. And so I'm trying to understand the thought process of putting yourself in danger just for the sake of clicks and views. If you're funny, you're funny regardless. If you play a joke on someone, it's funny regardless because it causes real reactions, but reactions that isn't targeting a specific race and using things against them to provoke a reaction. And when I watch these videos and I see the little skinny white guy getting punched up or running away going, it's a joke, it's a prank, it's a prank, look, the camera's over there. It still verges on bullying and some level of discrimination in my eyes. You know, and some of you are lucky that other people that you've targeted in the black community can have a laugh and laugh it off. But when you're about to be chased down by five or six dudes about to beat your ass, that's not funny. And you need to kind of take into respect as to how they may feel and what kind of day some people's having that you just you just don't do that. Why don't you fucking go around your own like, white neighborhoods and target white people? Oh, is it because they're not going to react? Because you're not going to go up to them and say something that sounds like, what's up, my honky? Personally, if I'm walking down the street and someone's going to call me a nigger, or a word that sounds like nigger because they're saying it really fast, it will cause a reaction because it's disrespectful. You can't turn around afterwards and tell me it's a joke. Taking the absolute fucking piss. And so, for me, I think you deserve the Muppet of the Week, Month, Year Awards. So to you pranksters who go around and deliberately target black people to provoke a reaction, you're fucked up and you really need to kind of take a seat back and look at your actions. Opie's. Nothing is out of bounds in terms of what I'm going to have an opinion on. You might agree, you may not agree. Some of these videos are funny, some of them are a work of art. But not when is that... What's the word I'm looking for? Not when is that the cost of somebody else. Or someone's dignity and pride. It's not funny then. Okay, so you really need to watch what you guys are doing. That's the end of another episode of Opinionated I Am, and we're going to touch on many of these subjects to do with black and white. 
male and female relationships, hungry fannies, all of that. Ain't nothing profound. Nothing. We're going to talk about it all. And so hit that subscribe button. If you have any suggestions and stuff that you want me to take a look at or touch on and have an opinion on, by all means, because I want it to be open. Let's talk about the things that people talk about in secret, you know? And so it's, it's, it's all about getting it out there and really seeing how other people feel. So Opie's, I'm out. Shout out, hit that button, send me a message. I will always respond, you know how it is. You might slag me off. So be it. <laughs> Let's all have fun with it. Take care of yourself. Anything you like and express your thoughts. Opinionated I am.